September 15th to October 15th marks the celebration of the Hispanic and Latino community through National Hispanic Heritage Month. The history and cultures are vast and unique, spanning from Mexico, South America, the Caribbean, and Spain. Yeah, and today we want to highlight and celebrate the stories that come from our local community. Joining us to talk more, we have Carolina, Jimmy, and Marina. Thank you so much for being well, here. Thank you for having us. Oh my yeah. gosh, this, this is so great. exciting. So first, yes. tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, so I'm Carolina Smalls and I come from Venezuela, that okay. little country on the top of South America that looks like a rhino. Okay. okay. <laughs> I came here like 15 years ago or more and I'm an engineer, but I am an artist by heart. I always play music in the living room with my parents and my brothers. And so I am trying to keep my tradition moving so the next generation, you know, my children yeah. and people that I meet can actually know, you know, where I'm coming from. Yeah. I, I'm yeah. very proud of my roots, my Hispanic roots. And I try to, you know, embrace that and I try to plan uh, cultural programs, I guess, for the community. Yeah. So people also have the opportunity to do that through my programs. We have a lot of education, but we also have a lot of entertainment. Uh, and as I said, I'm an engineer, so I do other things on the side, yeah. but cultural development is a big part of it. I and my that. company is called Personality, uh -huh. with S-U-N instead mm -hmm. of S-O-N. Oh, yeah. okay. The sun comes because I feel that everybody has something brilliant to really give. And so I feel that we have different skill sets, we have different, you know, arts to show and to share with people. Yeah. So I have a platform of professionals and artists that would really just to give what we have to others and hopefully, you know, improve our communication, improve our empathy for each other. Understanding you know, is a big Yes, thing. understanding, yes, exactly. And I think a big part of what we're doing is we're trying to get together more yeah. than ever, uh, Latinos, Hispanics, you know, from different groups and different countries, yeah. just so we can actually, you know, have a better voice, like yeah. a stronger voice yes. in the community. Yeah. I'm not get just to Jimmy real quick. I yes. wanted to know about your background and Hi. your heritage. Yes, I'm Jimmy. Um, I'm from Haiti. And uh, the background um, um, of, of Haitian is, is pretty interesting because I was just telling um, uh, Carolina that uh, Haiti actually helped Venezuela to win their uh, um, uh, independence That's from right. the uh, um, European Spanish. And that was pretty awesome. And when you reached out to me, I was like, yes, it's the same thing. <laughs> we were so trying yes, to find common things. Yeah. And yeah. Jimmy actually found out that. And that was That's new so for me. Yeah. So, yeah, yes. I, I just found that, that our differences always bring us together rather than just keep us apart. So right. I thought right. that was right. awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, Marina, what about you? Tell yes. us about your background. Hi, my name is Marina. And I'm for, from Mexico. Cool. And uh, I am a dancer, a choreography as well, and a fitness instructor too. OK. And I've uh, been in the United States for quite a while. And one of the main things that I do is uh, teach young women, young mm -hmm. girls who are getting ready for the quinceañeras. Okay, so and we have a model I mean, here. We have a model right so here. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, the quinceañera background on on the, the history of it, 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 it. It's a whole lot of meaning. We have yeah. the crown. We have the doll, the last doll that it actually means is the last doll that they will ever get before they enter into their womanhood. Oh. Also, the uh, high heel. It's a very important thing. <laughs> <laughs> the high heel is a very important thing because it they don't get to wear their first high heel till they're actually 15 years old. Really? Really? Yes, yes. Oh. So that is a very ah. interesting. It's supposed to be that tradition. Yes, so daddy comes in and they switch from flats to high heels and then they enter into and the it, womanhood. There you it's go. It's a huge and, part. And the dresses are all custom made as well. You the know. dress is all custom made and this one mm -hmm. was borrowed by La Elegancia on Williamson Road. Uh -huh. she, okay. is, she has partnered up with us to let us use all her dresses. I love it. Okay. Yes. Well, we mentioned that music and dance is part of this, so we want to get to a performance real quick. That's right. Ojos que lloran en silencio. 
celebrating the history and culture of the Latino and Hispanic community in our area through music, dance, and even a traditional drink. Yeah, and we are excited to welcome back Catalina to share more about their culture, hey. traditions, and you have everybody here everybody. with yes. you. Yes, mi familia. <laughs> yeah, so you mentioned earlier you have a business. Tell us about your business yes. that you do. Yes, so Personality is my business, and it's a company that I created because I wanted to create a platform for people that has different skill sets and different artists to show, you know, what they have to give. Mm -hmm. And so I have uh, from engineers to educators, social workers, um, you know, people in health, and I also have a tremendous team of artists from everywhere. So Vladimir from Cuba, Suhel from Mexico, Marina, as you know, he's Colombian, even though he was singing with uh, Mariachi oh, soon. Okay, okay. <laughs> but Mariachi has been, um, denominated like one of the generous that is more representative from Hispanics, so that's why I had him okay. here. This is my dad, mi papa, oh, from right. Venezuela. <laughs> and dad. my very good friend and producer of everything I do, artistic, and this is Mari Gonzalez, my friend. So I have part of my family here. There are many other collaborators yeah. and people that helped me bring my concepts together, but I'm very thankful for them. Now, what comes from personality in terms of community is a program that I created called JOY joy of interaction. I work with health, so I analyze uh, population health data. And over the time, I've been working for like 10 years with healthcare. And over time, I realized that people has a lot of concentration on physical health and mental health. Maybe that's what we know the most about. Mm -hmm. But in reality, there is an aspect of health that is a little bit neglected. And you can only see it when you have you know, terrible things happening, which is social health. So social health is part of the definition of health. Mm -hmm. And so I created Joy of Interaction because I want people to be motivated to interact more with one another, especially in this very high technological era. Yeah, okay. you know it's that so we true. I've, I've heard about that. Yes. Yeah, like if you're with people that, you know, your friends or family, yeah. you're mm -hmm. going to live longer. That's right. Yes. That's right. Like, There's research proof. It. I yeah. mean, if you have friends, if you have, you're going to have much Chance yeah. to, so to there it. was a competition recently. Tell yes. us about that and tell us about the winners. Yes, and so that was part of Joy. I created a competition that was the Hispanic Culture Competition to celebrate our Hispanic heritage. Mm -hmm. uh, there were four uh, universities participating. So we have Ferrum College, Rona College, Radford University, and Virginia Tech. Okay. They did amazing. It was very hard to choose a winner because mm -hmm. they all really blew us away, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was incredible. The students really represented Latin American countries that we assigned to them. And they had to do it based on decoration of a house that you can see here, the oh, Rona College okay. house. Uh -huh. So cool. they had to represent Mexico and Guatemala. And you can see how they decorated, you know, one side like Mexico and the other side say, like Guatemala. Both sides are, are decorated. Yes. That is yes. Cool. Uh -huh. And just like Rona College, so the other universities did it as well. Uh, Virginia Tech did Venezuela, Colombia, and Brazil. And then we had Radford, did Cuba, the islands. They had a lot of fun doing this. And Ferrum College did Honduras, Nicaragua, and El Salvador. So, so cool. we had, so cool. you know, them working in a concept where they had to use a lot of their creativity. But I also brought a bunch of uh, dancers uh, to tour around Latin America. And yeah. I had a, uh, a tremendous help from J&K Tours. Uh -huh. It's actually a tour company here, and they sponsor the competition. So they took my team 
touring around Latin America represented here in Southwest so Virginia. Cool. It was awesome. so special. This has been great. We, I love yes. it. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you all so for being much. here. And your yeah. website, one more time, if people are yes. curious. It's so personality. it will be personality.com. But S U N, remember, okay. no, like your personality, okay. but S U N, personality.com. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Being here. Thank we'll, you. We'll be right back.